Congratulations. Uh, what's the feeling like wearing that kangaroo's emblem on you? Yeah, uh, yeah. First of all, I like to, like you know, I'm pretty uh, honoured. You know, putting this uh, this jersey on. You know, I can't, can't wait to hopefully get a shot and yeah, and play. What was the feeling like when you got told? Who who were the first people you talked to when you found out that you were in the Kangaroos World Cup squad? Yeah, I was actually pretty shocked there. Actually, to be honest, I didn't see myself in the squad. Uh, I, after the PNG tour, I went back and just. I uh, said to my dad, oh, don't worry, I, I won't be going to, to England. Uh, but then uh, the media guy uh, from the, the Raiders here just gave me a call and said congrats. Uh, and haven't looked back then, so I'm still trying to soak it up. What was that experience like in PNG? Yeah, it was different. Uh, it's a real eye-opener. You know, it made me look um, on different sides of, uh, of life as well. And uh, being a, a rugby star and uh, coming through the ranks, you know, made me open my eyes to uh, the outside world, I guess. Uh, PNG definitely love their footy. Talk about the season that you've had. What were your goals going into 2013? Because it's been a wow of a season for you. What were your goals at the start of the year? Oh, I guess I was just focused on the Raiders first. Um, there was talk of, of origin um, chances there, but, um, you know, I just focused on my performance at the Raiders and uh, surely it, it did enough to get me a spot in uh, the origin side and then uh, just getting the call up uh, for, for PNG. Um, you know, I guess I, I'm still uh, amazed of what, what I've done in one year, you know. Um, hopefully I've got more seasons to come. What was that experience like playing for Queensland? Obviously they've had a great eight years and there's a lot of experience there. What did you take out of that origin experience? Yeah, I guess I had to go in with, uh, with, you know, with everything I had. You know, I didn't want to uh, being the first team to to lose that that streak there, I, I wanted to add something to to the team, and uh, you know, securing that the eight wins in a row, you know, was a uh, true honour. And to also play with the the boys there uh, alongside it was uh, very emotional and uh, very exciting for myself. What did you learn about like obviously Origin? There's a lot of hype, a lot of media. Did you learn much from the older players about how you prepare that week and how to play in those big games? Yeah, first of all, I had to shout out the, the media there. Um, you know, I had experienced players there uh, just helping me out with, with everything, you know, off and on field uh, you know, problems there as well. Um, you know, with the experienced people there, you know, I couldn't go wrong. And what did you learn from the game? Because Origin's really quick, it's different to a club game. How, how much did you take out of that experience of playing in, in the Origin arena? Yeah, playing in the, the Origin game there, game two, um, you know, I bring a lot of confidence back to, to Canberra, um, not for my team, but also for myself as well. Um, you know, it was a, a real big ups for, for myself and the players around me, you know, I, I just built a little bit of confidence to talk and to talk to the players, um, not, not only on the field, but uh, a voice off the field as well. And uh, now that you've uh, got the kangaroo shirt on, you in here getting suited up and all the boys here does it has it hit home that you're about to get on a plane with with the kangaroos yeah just everyone talking about the food we're gonna eat and uh, all the free gear you get <laughs> i'm pretty excited there i can't wait uh i'll probably sink in when we're flying over you know and uh, hopefully when i get the chance to put on the australian jersey uh, probably uh, probably be an emotional time for myself it's a, it's a pretty elite group. Not many actually get to wear the, the kangaroos gear and go away on a tour to compete in a World Cup. It's a pretty special thing. Has it, has it sort of sank in, what, what's happened? Yeah, exactly. Like I said before, you know, I actually did not see myself in, in the squad, you know, but getting the call up, you know, I started having like dreams <laughs> being in England and, um, you know, just the, the life, you know. This is the first time I'm going to England as well, so um, I actually can't wait, eh? And the family must be pretty proud of you. Yeah, uh, dad was pretty emotional, you know. Um, Mum's overseas, so um, hopefully I get to see her before I go away. But if not, um, I'll definitely make him proud, and especially Australia as well.